In this video, I am going to show you how to get Fulbright for Minecraft Java 1.21.6. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. To begin, what you want to do is go to your search bar and search up Iris Shaders, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find Iris Shaders are dev. Just click on Iris Shaders, and then you'll be on the Iris Shaders homepage. From there, you want to go to Download Now, and then you want to go to Download Universal Jar. Okay, now that you have Iris Installer, you want to go ahead and get yourself Fulbright. To get Fulbright, you want to go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar, and you want to search up Blendy Cat Fulbright, like so. So Blendy Cat Fulbright, and just enter, and here you'll find Blendy Cat Fulbright shaders on github.com. Just click this link, and it'll bring you to this page here. So from there, you want to go to the code button, and you want to do download zip. And now you have Fulbright. If you can't run the .jar installer, what you need to do is go to a new tab, you need to go to your search bar, and you need to search up JDK24, enter that in, and here you'll find Java Downloads on Oracle.com. Just click Java Downloads, and then you'll be on this page. So from there, just do accept all, and then you want to go ahead and scroll down, you'll find JDK24, you'll find Windows if you're using Windows, and here you'll find x 64 installer. Just click this link here to download and install Java24, and then you'll be able to go ahead and run this Iris installer if it doesn't work for you. You don't need to do this if you can already do this, no problem. So from there, once you have everything sorted out, just go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. I'll just close it, and from there you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. So here, all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to the Iris installer right here, and then you have to double click it. So from there, all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to your select game version and you want to make sure this is 1.21.6 and if it is, all you want to do is simply go ahead and do install. Okay, once you're done you can close the installer and you can go to the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, you'll be able to add the shader to the shader packs folder. So the way this works is that all you need to do is you need to wait for iris and sodium to show up here if you have this you can go to installations then you can go ahead and go to iris and sodium and go to the folder icon here you can go to shader packs this is a folder double click it and from there you can go to the downloads folder here you can click and select and copy full by shader and you can go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste now you have fullbright in dot minecraft shader packs so once you have this, go to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Iris and Sodium is selected, and click play. And here you just do understand risks, and do play again. And now you can go ahead and wait for Minecraft to open up, and then we'll be able to go ahead and activate Fulbright using Iris Shaders. This is why we need Iris Shaders, as this is a Fulbright shader. So from there, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to activate it. So once you have Minecraft here, all you want to do is go to single player world, a server or a realm, I'll just go to single player world and let's do a test without the shader first. So here is minecraft, I'll just do slash time set midnight and here it is midnight as you can see it's nice and hard to see, right? it is dark, it is night and what you want to do here to enable the shader you want to do escape, options, video settings, shader packs, and full bright here. Click this and click apply. And boom, there you go. Just escape everything. And now you have full bright for Minecraft Java. So as you can see, everything is way more easier to see. You can see underground as well. Like so. So if there's some ores, you can go ahead and see there. So yeah, this is how full bright works. It works completely just fine, works great. And yeah, you can see everything, you can see mobs, even like the player itself is like light up, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, that is how we get full bright for Minecraft Java 1.21.6. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!